Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Impact Today. We are Mark and Victoria Bowling, evangelists and teachers of the Word of God. We're so excited that you decided to join us today because we're about to share some amazing, life-giving truth straight from God's Word. Amen. As we do, open up your heart and receive, and revelation light will fill and flood your heart. And what that'll do is completely change your life. So grab a Bible and a notebook and a pen and get ready to take some notes. We want to um, invite you to visit our website at globalimpactministries.com. There you can access every episode of this TV show, Impact Today. You can also subscribe to our podcast. You can send us an email on our website. You can find newsletters and testimonies. And you can become a partner with our ministry mm -hmm. on our website if the Lord puts that on your heart. So get ready. We're about to receive the Word of God. It's going to be awesome. Yes, today we want to encourage you to take your miracle now. Yeah. Seize it now. Receive it now. Something good has already happened for you. You don't have to wait around. When God gets good and ready, one day He's going to heal me. No, the price has been paid for you to receive your miracle now. Yeah. The work's already been done. Amen. Just like Jesus took our sin, mm -hmm. he took our sickness. That's right. And if you can learn to look at sickness and disease on the same playing field mm -hmm. as sin, it'll help you. You won't say things like, well, God hasn't decided to heal me yet, right. but I believe he's going to. That would be equivalent to saying, well, God has chosen not to forgive me yet, but I believe he's going yeah, to. Yeah, and nobody would say that. Right. So... um what do we have? Where are we going? Acts 14. I love this story. Mm -hmm. uh, starting with verse 7. We'll read that. And they were preaching the gospel there. Who's they? Paul and Barnabas. They were preaching the gospel there. And so? And in Lystra, a certain man without strength in his feet was sitting a cripple from his mother's womb who had never walked. This man heard Paul speaking. Paul, observing him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. And he leapt and walked. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. I love it. Amen. So Paul and Barnabas, they're preaching the gospel, which we, we talk about a lot. It's the good news of what Jesus Christ has already accomplished for you through his death, burial, and resurrection. God the Father, when Jesus was sacrificed, God placed on him all of our sin, our guilt, our shame, the consequences of our sin, our punishment, our judgment, our sicknesses, our diseases, our curse. He absorbed it in full. Amen. And then he put it away, and then God raised him from the dead because he saw you justified. Hallelujah. Jesus, your substitute, paid the price. Now, what God laid on Jesus, the devil can't keep on you. That's right. Amen. By his stripes, you were healed. And so here we have this story where Paul and Barnabas are preaching this wonderful good news. And here there's this man who's been crippled from birth, from his mother's womb. And here he is listening to this good news for the very first time in his life. And we know that the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, mm. faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So he's listening to this message that Christ bore our sicknesses, carried our pains. He endured our chastisement. He was punished for our well-being, spirit, soul, and body. And by His stripes, we are healed. He hears that and faith begins to rise up within His heart. And Paul perceived it. Yes. Paul saw it. But notice he's still crippled. Mm -hmm. And that's the point I really want to emphasize with you today. 
You have to take your miracle now. How? Act on his word. Paul saw that the man had faith to be healed. He observed it. He perceived it. But he's still crippled. Yeah. So what does Paul say? With a loud voice, he said, Sir, stand up on your feet. And the man stood up and was healed. Faith without corresponding actions is inoperative. Yeah. So you can hear the message of the gospel. By Jesus' stripes, you were healed. Mm -hmm. And faith can actually rise in your heart. The faith is there. Mm -hmm. But if you don't put action yeah. to that faith, it just lies dormant. Yeah. It does you no good. Mm -hmm. You know, I love that when Paul perceived he had faith, he commanded him to stand up. He didn't pray for him. Yeah. He just commanded him. That's right. Yeah. Paul didn't even lay hands on him. He didn't lay hands on him. He didn't pray over him. He didn't say, I command that disease to leave your body. He didn't no, do anything. nothing like that. All he did is he saw that the man had faith to be healed and basically said, all right, act your faith. That's basically what he's doing, except he did it more forcefully. Stand up! Yeah, because it that, says that he said it with a loud voice. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. And what happened? The man stood up yeah. and he found, oh says my. he leaped and walked. Hallelujah. The man was completely healed. Now remember, he was crippled from birth. So it wasn't like he was healed of an injury. Right. There was creative power that operated in this situation or this miracle because there was no development. Yeah, not only that, when you develop properly, you still have to learn how to walk. Yeah. You don't go from crawling to leaping and walking. That's right. <laughs> so, Hallelujah. I mean, this was a miracle. This was a mighty on miracle. On so many levels. Amen. And what God did for this man, he can and desires to do for you yes. right now. But, you know, you have to look at what did the man do? Mm-hmm. What did Paul do? What did the man do? Mm -hmm. We can do the same thing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, there's many people who've watched this program or who've attended our miracle festivals, and they've been like this man. Mm -hmm. They hear the message, and they act their faith, and Jesus has healed them. Yeah, so many. And what Jesus has done for them, he'll do for you, whether it's healing of blindness, whether it's a deaf ear popping open, whether it's a tumor disappearing or a goiter going down, whether it's lameness, paralysis, infertility, diabetes, pain, all kinds of diseases, He'll do yes. for you. Yes, hallelujah. Because He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. You know, we have told this story who knows how many times, but I, I just feel like I should tell it again. One time I was preaching the gospel in this community and there was a family there with a child who's about nine years old who as a baby had been um, struck with polio. And so now as a nine-year-old, he's at this miracle festival and one leg just hung lame, just limp, hung mm. there about an inch shorter than the other leg. He had never stood his entire life. This family believed the message. Now, at the miracle festival itself, nothing seemed to happen except something marvelous happened. Well, they to hurt. this boy, but they saw many other miracles. They saw other mm -hmm. miracles, but something marvelous happened in their heart. Yeah. They heard the gospel and they believed it. The miracle festival's over. I've left. They take their boy home. And in the evening time, they stand him. They, hold, they don't stand him. They hold him up in the middle of their, their living area. And they say, the Bible says you're healed. Stand in Jesus' name. They begin to let go, and he begins to fall down. And they did that two or three times. And it looked like nothing was happening. They go to bed. The following evening after work, they come home, they've eaten supper, they do the same thing. Stand in Jesus' name. Nothing seems to be happening. Two or three times he starts to fall, they catch him. 
the third night. They did the same thing again with seemingly no results. But the fourth morning, they get up out of bed and they walk into the living room and their son is standing in the middle of the room of his own power. Hallelujah. My friend, that is the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Think about it. His leg just hung there, shorter than the other. Well, what happened for him to be able to, to have that kind of miracle? It grew out and grew strong right. and had movement. Amen. Hallelujah. God honors faith, my friends. Amen. Faith in what? Just faith? Well, faith, God's going to do something for me. No, it's a specific thing you believe that Christ, your substitute, took your infirmity, bore your disease. It was laid upon him. He carried it to the cross. It was nailed to the cross. He was buried with it. He put it away and rose again victorious over your disease. He took it. You no longer have it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What he bore, you need not bear. What God placed on Jesus, the devil can't put on you or the devil can't keep on you. It's now illegal. There's been a legal transaction between the Father God and Jesus the man on our behalf. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And now you're healed. So claim your healing. Say, I, I take it. It's mine. Mm -hmm. I won't give up. I won't stop. I won't accept disease. I won't accept this condition. I refuse to accept this condition. The only thing I accept is healing. It's mine now Hallelujah. in Jesus' Thank mighty you, name. You, now, maybe you're all fine physically. You might have a, a bunch of money in the bank. You might have a nice, healthy body, but your soul is lost. Mm. I have good news for you. If you'll believe it, you need a Savior. And Jesus paid the penalty to wash you clean of all your sin so that your soul might be rescued from eternal damnation. So whether you're here and you're listening and you need forgiveness of sin or you need healing in your body, it's been paid for by the sacrifice you, of Jesus Thank Christ. You, so receive today everything that was purchased for you. Right now, stop what you're doing. Close your eyes, lift up your hands, and say this after me. Dear Father God. Dear Father God. I acknowledge. I acknowledge. I'm in need. I'm in need. Of salvation. Of salvation. I accept your sacrifice. I accept your sacrifice. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ. He died on the cross. He died on the cross. For my sins. For my sins. He suffered. He suffered my diseases, my diseases, and he put it all away. And he put it all away. And you raised them again. And you raised them again from the dead. From the dead for my justification. For my justification. I believe it. I believe with it with all of my heart. With all of my heart. So I turn from my past. So I turn from my and past. And I come to you. And I come to and you. And I confess. And I confess. Jesus. Jesus is my Lord. Is my Lord. My Savior. My Savior. My Healer. My Healer. My Deliverer. My Deliverer. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Save me now. Save me now. Come live inside of me. Come live inside of me. Forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. Make me new. And make me new. I now follow you. I now follow you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Now, friends, right now, wherever you're at, receive your miracle. Mm -hmm. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name that your power flows into their bodies and heals feet heals legs, heals arms, heals hands. From the top of the head to the soles of the feet, I thank you for miracle life rushing through their body in Jesus' name. We thank you for it, Father. We believe we receive it. We count it done. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you pray to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, go ahead and call the number on your screen and let somebody know what God has just done for you. Or maybe you're experiencing your miracle right now. You know God has healed you. Mm -hmm. Give us a call 
and let us know. If you pray to receive Jesus, all your sins have been washed away. You're a new creation in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You are a child of God. Amen. Praise God. Well, we love you. And we hope to see you next time. God bless. We have another testimony. Oh, I know where I laid the bit. Let her talk. Yeah, the man of the world down. He's, he's asking, can I can TV allow to, to sing a song of, of praising God? I want to hear her. Okay. But we want to hear her testimony. Yeah, I really don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. She has been blind for so many years. But even she went, she has gone to, to the doctor for her eyes to be operated, yeah. but nothing happened. The doctor failed. Yeah. Okay. She tried to go for eyes operation, but the doctors failed. Nothing happened. In, uh, with the doctor operation. And now, the, yesterday she said, let her come for prayer here. Maybe God will do something. She has been blind for so many years. She has been going without a help. Nobody helped even because she has no child. That, that, that,
And we welcome you. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, we have another testimony tonight. Praise God. Amen. Hello. Hey, Rabbi, you will buy. I am telling you all in you the public. And now we got the one I call me why. He had nine years limping. Now everyone. But in this year, uh, something came to his eyes as well. Question Bully, I just pulled me out of the well to judge his brother John and a city watch or quite a true eye. He had been a policeman and the police uh, and, the, and the police institution. Left him in the house because he had nothing to do again. I just greet you first and greet the visitors who have come to the bed. When I greet you like this, let us come to God, all of us. That's what is my message to you. So, so if there is someone who knows the way of God through whom God is speak to people but when God brought me before you here uh, for, for me to hear the word of God uh, as a child of God he, he has been healed that is the message you want to tell the people what was in his eyes God, uh, God has removed it he has up three days coming here. Ah, uh, well, cool. And then last night, he was able to see the light here. Uh, last night, he was able to see the light here. This light. Uh, he would see the red. Uh, and, then, and, and, and then the green one. And then there is a small place like this. I can't get your team feeling a lot and she don't eat enough for you. I really know how long she don't eat nothing. He has been able to see. I'm not a talk of 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 a talk because of this, he is thanking these pastors. And may God lead them back home. Amen. 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 He was completely blind, even if you were nearby him, you could not see you. But now I am seeing you, you are a white man. Like, like walking at the I'm seeing your teeth now. I'm looking at the And even you are not here. Even your eyes are there. What was the last thing you said? That your, your hair. Yeah. I could see now it's, it's different from my hair. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Who did that? <laughs> Who opened his eyes? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. He still opening the eyes of the blind because he is the same yesterday today and forever when in the history of mankind was it ever known that a blind man could suddenly see it never happened until Jesus came to earth and he's been opening the eyes of the blind ever since when he finds someone who calls on his name and believes Jesus opens their blind eyes hallelujah Amen. praise God what's your name sir his name is called Dominic 
Ajara Anyor. He is a Christian. That's wonderful. But a Catholic. Did you accept Jesus Christ when we prayed? Did you pray and receive Jesus? Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you, sir. Jesus is Lord.